Hi guys, this is Miss Wagstaff from Flint Hill Elementary School teaching fourth grade. And today we are going to look at part two of our homophone lesson that we started last time. So I'm going to share my screen. Let's review real quickly. Homophones are two or more words that sound the same, but are spelled differently and have different meanings. And remember last time we looked at these examples of commonly confused homophones. And I'll give you just a minute to read those um, pairs of homophones. See if you can think up three examples and write them on your paper of homophones. Just take a second and see if you can think up three examples. Okay, I thought up I and I. I am going to the store, my I is bothering me. C and C. I can see you. The storm made the sea very rough. So there's two more examples. Made and made. I made a cake today. I hope the maid, M-A-I-D, is coming to clean my house today. Meat and meat. M-E-E-T. M-E-A-T. I would like to meet you. I burned the meat that was on the grill. So those are just a few other examples. So last week, we, our last lesson, we talked about choosing the correct homophone to go in a sentence. Today, I want us to look at a different part of, of the homophone. It takes it to the next step, the next level, because usually when you look at two homophones, those two words are different parts of speech, usually. Okay, and I don't like the way this words it. It says usually homophones have different parts of speech. I think they should have said are different parts of speech. So let's quick think about what is a noun? A noun is a person, a place, or a thing. What is a verb? It is an action word. What is an adjective? It describes a noun. What is an adverb? It describes a verb. So if you look at this sentence, we donated money to poor people in our community. Poor in this sentence is describing what kind of people they were, people with not that don't have very much. So it is an adjective. Can you please pour me a glass of water, or glass of milk, excuse me, can't read very well, can I? Pour there is a verb, it's showing action. So, there's homophones, one is an adjective, one is a verb. Again, look at the words here and the word here. I haven't been here in two years. Here is an adverb because it's haven't been where? Here. So here in this sentence is an adverb, it's a place. I didn't Hear the bell ring, action word, hear with your ears. It is a verb, did not hear. The next set, which part of speech do you think these are? You decide. I would never steal from another classmate. What do you think steal is here? It means taking something that doesn't belong to you. So if you're taking something, that would be an action word. So if you said verb, you are correct. It is a verb. The machine is made of steel. It's like a metal. So it would be, would it be a noun? Or would it be an adjective talking about what kind of machine? The steel machine would be a noun. Okay, so let's look at this. Can you create a sentence that uses two homophones? Here are your examples. 
I had to stop by two grocery stores, two and two. I cannot hear while sitting over here. So your assignment is to write two sentences with two homophones in the sentence, a pair of homophones in the sentence, and then share it with a friend or with someone in your family and see if they know what the homophones are. Test them. See, do they know, can they give you a definition for a homophone? And how do you decide what part of speech a homophone is? And how do you decide which homophone to use? See you next time.